So let's get started by washing our hands with hot water and plenty of soap. And we're going to wash for as long as it takes to sing happy birthday twice through. We're going to need a small bowl like this. We will need one larger skillet with a lid and one smaller pot with a lid for our brown rice. We're going to need a spatula, a fork, measuring cups, measuring spoons, a cutting mat, and a knife. Let's go over the ingredients we need today. We will need soy sauce and white sugar. We will need sesame oil, hot sauce, ground turkey, celery, carrots. We're also going to need fresh ginger or ground ginger, garlic powder, water chestnuts, brown rice, and we're going to need romaine hearts. To get us started, we're going to first mix our sauce. So get your small bowl and pull out your soy sauce. And for our soy sauce, we need three tablespoons of soy sauce. I am using reduced sodium. The recipe calls for reduced sodium. Uh, there is no reason why you need to purchase or use regular soy sauce. In my opinion, it tastes pretty much the same. So next, we need to measure our sugar. This calls for three teaspoons of sugar. And you can use brown sugar if you don't have any white. I always like when there's an option because sometimes I'm out of one or the other. I'm not a baker, so I don't always have all the different types of sugars on hand. Next, let's add in our sesame oil. Sesame oil is very potent. So we want to make sure we don't add more than what's needed, which is only two teaspoons. And last but not least, we need one teaspoon of hot sauce. Okay, so with a fork or a whisk, mix that sauce well together. And then we're just going to set that aside. We'll use it a little bit later. Next, let's cut up our celery and our carrots because we're going to need to saute those with the turkey. So our recipe calls for stalks of celery sliced. It doesn't tell us how many. I'm going to grab two. And it also says medium carrots shredded. So I'm going to grab two of those carrots as well. The more vegetables that you cut up really small and put in with your turkey, the more vegetables that you're eating with this meal. So why not take advantage of that? And I actually need to grab my shredder. I don't have that out, but I'll get that in a second. So again, with celery, we want to cut it small, so we're going to slice it down the middle and then cut it really small. Make sure you keep your other fingers tucked in and away from the knife. And with your carrots, if you don't have a shredder, just chop these carrots really small. Um, but if you do have a shredder, pull that out and shred your carrots. Just be careful when you're getting down to the bottom of the carrot not to get your knuckles. All right. So we have our veggies chopped up and ready. We're going to put the vegetables with the ground turkey in a pan that's on medium high heat. And I have stainless steel here and I have an electric stove top. So I'm going to definitely put this 
at medium high heat, but then I'm gonna have to pay attention to it because my pot is gonna get hot really quickly. And then it'll take a little bit of time to get back down to a more reasonable temperature. So break up the turkey and then everything's going to cook together. Okay, so everything has started to cook here in my pan. I'm just going to break up my ground turkey even more. Ground turkey is something that I don't have to worry about draining the fat from. I actually have to worry more about the turkey sticking to the bottom of a pan. Our recipe does tell us to add the ginger and garlic. If you're using um, fresh ginger, you can use one tablespoon of it. If you're using ground ginger, anytime a spice is ground, it's always going to be more potent. So use three quarters of a teaspoon. And for our garlic powder, Again, if you're using fresh, you need one clove. If it's powdered, one quarter teaspoon. All right, so mix your spices in. We're pretty close to everything being cooked. I'm just gonna make sure the turkey is chopped up really well. So I turned my heat low on this ground turkey mixture. And I'm gonna open up my can of water chestnuts. And I wanna drain the liquid off of those. We don't need that. And then you can dump the can in. And instead of putting these on a cutting board and chopping them up, I'm gonna take my spatula and chop them up. You can also add your sauce at this time. Remember, we don't want our pan to be on high here. We're just kind of getting the sauce warmed up. We're warming up the water chestnuts. Our recipe is just about complete. The only step that's left is to put it into the romaine leave boats and then eat. Excuse me, there's one more step left, I forgot. We have to add our brown rice. So we really have a well-rounded meal here because we have our protein, we have vegetables. We don't have fruit, but we could always have that on the side. We have a whole grain. Um, we could also have a glass of milk on the side to round this off and make it a whole meal. But what a good, wholesome, and delicious meal idea this is. So, just getting some romaine leaves washed here. I doubt I'm going to need all of them that are in this bag. I'm just going to tap on the romaine. Get it nice and dry. And then we're ready to fill. So all that's needed is to just put some of your mixture in that romaine leaf. And sometimes it might fall out depending on what the shape is exactly of your romaine leaf, but that's okay. This is something that you can eat with a knife and a fork, or you can just wrap your romaine leaf tightly and um, eat it with your hands. And voila, there is our Asian turkey lettuce wrap. <laughs>